I typically ask this at the end, but I wanted to ask you this based on the story about Kayla. You know, you've been in the military. You've probably seen some stuff. You certainly have seen some stuff at DS with, with this case and maybe other cases. Is that, is that taking a toll on yourself in terms of, I guess, in just, just in general, your own mental health or, or how you see people? out there i mean there's a difference between being overseas and getting here but i just wonder how that affects you yeah you know that's something i don't talk about often but i suppose it did have an impact on my mental health uh you know the different things from from both organizations that i served with um i think what it really taught me that that serves me every day is perspective uh how people live their lives i mean you know the kayla mueller story aside we spent i spent days you know, countless days inside refugee camps where people were just fleeing from, from, uh, from terror, from, you know, leaving their homes and, and living in squalor, you know, and, and it's pretty awful realizing, you know, what we have here in America and, and, you know, some of the complaints that, that, that some of us might have, myself included, uh, are, are nothing compared to what these people go through. And, you know, we had a, we had a Mount Sinjar operation. So Mount Sinjar is a, is a, is a famous, well, famous now, but mountain, uh, in, in uh, I believe it was Syria or northern Iraq, where it was northern Iraq actually, where ISIS or uh, individuals were fleeing from Mosul when they were fleeing up to Mount Sinjar. But one of the members, team members that worked for me in Iraq, uh, got me on the phone because I was a personnel recovery guy, uh, or the, that was my program, personnel recovery. He said his cousin, who is an American citizen, was currently fleeing ISIS. And I didn't know exactly what he meant. Like maybe they're on the move, ISIS would be there. And so I got on, a, on the phone with him. He, his cousin called him on these small Nokia phones is what we were still using back then. And his cousin and his family were literally breathing, huffing and puffing, running, fleeing ISIS. They were chasing them up this mountain and you could hear gunshots in the background. They were killing or slaughtering them. Wow. Um, so when you have that type of perspective or when you he, see these types of things or, or a part of these types of things, it, it certainly uh, gives you some perspective on, on what we have here. Thank you.